For centuries, certain stories were not considered part of the accepted canon of the Bible. These stories were referred to as apocryphal texts. When the Bible was being compiled, the church debated which stories truly represented the teachings of Jesus Christ. Only the stories deemed to have met the criteria were included in the final book. But what about the stories that were left out? Recently, a compilation of these rarely seen texts has been published, offering insight into tales of wizards, demons, and a man crucified beside Jesus. Battle against diabolical wizards. This tale is about a group of Christians led by Bishop Basil who fought against demonic wizards. The Virgin Mary instructed Bishop Basil to retrieve an image of her and place it on top of two columns in a church in Philippi. The wizards were determined to destroy the columns, but the Christians triumphed and the earth swallowed the wizards. These texts were likely written around 1,500 years ago and translated from Coptic, an Egyptian language that incorporates the Greek alphabet. They tell the story of a battle between good and evil and offer a glimpse into the beliefs of early Christians. Demons Masquerading as Angels This tale is about seven demons masquerading as angels. The Apostle Peter captures them and seeks the help of heaven to determine if they are indeed creatures of evil. Six of them confess, but the seventh demon challenges Peter, asking why humans are forgiven for their sins but demons are not. This text was likely written around 1,600 years ago and translated from its original language. Although the story is fictional, it's possible that some early Christians believed it to be true. It offers a unique perspective on the relationship between humans, demons, and forgiveness. Demas helps Jesus and his family escape. This story is about Demas, a bandit who was crucified next to Jesus. Before he became a bandit, Demas was a border guard who helped Joseph and Mary escape with baby Jesus. His father disowned him for his actions, and 30 years later, he was captured and crucified. This text was translated from Latin and was likely written around the 12th or 13th century. Although the story is likely fictitious, it provides a fascinating perspective on the events leading up to the crucifixion of Jesus. Even though apocryphal texts were not considered part of the canonical Bible, they still hold great value for early Christians. They were an integral part of their spiritual lives, providing insight into their beliefs, practices, and experiences. These texts help us better understand the diverse beliefs and practices of early Christians. They offer a window into a rich cultural and religious heritage that has been largely lost to time. Though likely written in the 12th or 13th century, it is a testament to the enduring power of these stories, even centuries after they were first told. It is my belief that these texts are just as important now as they were when they were written. They are a reminder of the rich and diverse history of the Christian faith, and they continue to inspire and inform those who seek to understand it. So, as we close this video, we leave you with the thought that, even though these texts may not be considered part of the canonical Bible, they are an important part of our spiritual heritage. They remind us that our faith is not limited to a single book or set of beliefs, but rather is a rich tapestry of stories, experiences, and beliefs that have endured for centuries. Please share your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. Thank you for watching.